Shout hallelujah. God has spoken concerning me, concerning you. Yes, sir. I am not looking at the situation at all to determine what will happen to me tomorrow. Yes, sir. But I am looking at what God has said to determine my future. Amen. My yesterday may be bitter. Your yesterday may be full of defeat. Yes, sir. But I tell you, tomorrow you are going to shine. Amen. The word of God will be fulfilled in your life from today. Amen. Somebody shout, I believe in fulfillment. I believe in fulfillment. I believe in fulfillment. I believe in fulfillment. Now, when you are singing the song we sang just now, as you are singing, just be laughing. Yes, you sing it with laughter. Now, if I'm going to take one more. Honor your word, Jehovah. Honor your word, Amen. Honor your word, Jehovah. Honor your word. Oh, 
Upon my marriage, upon my marriage, upon my business, upon my business, upon my children, upon my children, upon my family, upon my family, upon my pregnancy, upon my pregnancy, upon my finance, upon my finance, over my documents, over my documents, over my job, over my job, over my health, over my health, over my family, over my family. Thank you for honoring your word. 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 Thank you for making a difference. Thank you for making a difference by your word. By your word. Thank you for my testimony. Thank you for my testimony. Thank you for victory. Thank you for victory. Thank you for my victory. Thank you for my victory. Thank you for victory. Thank you for victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. The Lord bless you. Amen. Let's pick our hymn book. Let's pick our hymn book. We are going to him 33, page 38. Him 33, page 38. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. On first Sunday of the month, everybody should have their hymn book. Thank you.
you are just begin to hide yourself under the blood of Jesus hide your family under the blood of Jesus hide your business everything that concerns you I hide under the blood of Jesus Christ I hide under the blood of Jesus Christ I hide under the blood of Jesus Christ my family is hide under the blood of Jesus Christ my business is hide under the blood of Jesus Christ all that concerns me is hide under the blood of Jesus Christ business is hidden under the blood of Jesus Christ. My family is hidden under the blood of Jesus Christ. All that concerns me is hidden under the blood of Jesus Christ. My visa is hidden under the blood of Jesus Christ. My document is hidden under the blood of Jesus Christ. My marriage is hidden under the blood of Jesus Christ. My settlement in life is hidden under the blood of Jesus Christ. My life is hidden my family is hidden the life of my husband the life of my wife the life of my children is hidden in under the blood of jesus, jesus christ name we pray amen 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 in jesus name thank you lord for hearing our voice thank you jesus in jesus name we pray amen 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 in jesus name shall be seated let's speak our bible I welcome you once again. Learn always to sing your hymn every morning in your house. Not only in church, in your house, in the morning, before you go out, after your prayers, in the evening, sing your hymn always. It will move God's angel more in your direction. Let's open our Bible to the book of First Corinthians chapter 4. We have been on the monthly team, faithfulness in service. And I want to believe that many of us have been catching it. That when you are in service, you just need to be faithful. Because it is rewarding. It is of God. Jesus Christ was faithful in service. Remember, Jesus Christ did not come to this world on his own. He was sent by the Father. And he came. He never disappointed the father. He did the job he was sent to do here on earth. And today, all of us can be happy that we are saved. That we are rescued from the bond of Satan. Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. The service he came to this world to render was successful he was efficient and the prince of this world had nothing against him and the father himself was happy about him not disappointing the host of heaven i told you a few weeks ago that we are in this world the life we live is not our own it was given to us by god Will you choose to disappoint God in your service to God, in your service to humanity? It's a big question mark that every individual will answer. We are steward. We are steward. Steward means we are servants here on earth to serve. God is our master. One day we will stand to give account before him of how we render the service first Corinthians chapter 4 verse 1 and 2 
and remember wherever you are as a steward all eyes are on you wherever you are as a steward you are a teacher to those who are looking at you everyone are learning from you and that is why as stewards learn not to adopt the character of anger learn not to adopt the character of anger as God's steward express love always sorry we go to the book of 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 remember last Sunday we trust 1st Corinthians chapter 4 and there the Bible says let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ as stewards of the mysteries of God moreover it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful now we are taking 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 verse 1 and 2 Apostle Paul actually taught much about stewardship because he was a steward he never disappointed God 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 verse 1 and 2 says therefore seeing we have this ministry as we have received what mercy we faint not but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty not walking in craftiness nor handling the word of god deceitfully but by manifestation of the truth commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of god commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of god you can see that as stewards <laughs> you need to be like god you need to adopt the character of god whatever you are steward all eyes are you that's what the bible says here commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of god i speak to you briefly on my title choosing to honor god you were choosing to honor god choosing to honor god choosing to honor god no matter who you are or where you are no matter your background no matter your level or your stage in life god have choose you to honor him he has choose you as a steward to propagate the gospel wherever you are in the church outside the church in the marketplace in your family in your village in your community in your office wherever you have been chosen by god to propagate the gospel to spread the gospel to preach the gospel to extend the gospel preaching the gospel is not just or not only by carrying your bible your character as a steward can preach the gospel your character your ways the kind of words that comes out of your mouth can preach the gospel the love you show to others can preach the gospel your behavior before others can preach the gospel the counsel you give to others can preach the gospel choosing to honor god as a steward remember god cannot use a discouraged person god cannot use a discouraged person one who is discouraged or who is easily discouraged can never be used by god as a steward you must learn to encourage yourself and that is why whatever that happens around you you must summon up courage god said to joshua joshua was a steward chosen by god to lead israel to the promised land and god said to him in joshua chapter 1 verse 9 
He said, have not I told you? Be strong and courageous. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. For I, the Lord, is with you. He said to Joshua, the journey is tough. The journey is rough. The journey is sensitive, dangerous. But don't be discouraged. Don't trouble about what you see. The battle you are seeing, I have already given you victory over the battle. As God's steward, the battle you are seeing in your marriage, God has already given you victory. I'm not hearing somebody. Eh? Yes. You know, a God cannot use a discouraged person. When you say because of what you are facing in marriage, you get discouraged. God will not be happy with you. Believe yourself to be the success of tomorrow. Because you were chosen by God to honor him by your service to him and by your faith. Never you measure discouragement. Never you allow anything to bring you down. Because God promises to be with you. And he is with you. You saw all the days of Joshua as a steward. Joshua was never a loser. He fought more battles than Moses. But all, he was a winner. He was never discouraged. And that was why he said at the end, towards the end of his life, he said, I have served this God all the days of my life. As he chose me to be a steward, I have led you, O Israel. Yet I am. Choose you these days whom you will serve. But as for me and my family, we will serve the living God. Why? Joshua entered the journey by being courageous. Being courageous by what? The words that God spoke to him. Today, God is speaking to you as he still what? You must be courageous in your journey through life. It is not what you expected in your marriage you will see. It's not what you expected in your business you will see. It's not what you expected as a worker in the house of God you will see. It's not what you expected in the place you rent your house you will see. It's different things you will see. But don't be discouraged. God knows what you will see before he made you to embark on the journey. He knows that you can overcome by relying on him as his steward before embarking on the journey. That's why you must look unto him. You must encourage yourself. No matter whether things are going down, things are not going the way they should go, that should not distract you from your faith in God. Because you were chosen by God to honor him. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Don't be discouraged. God cannot use a discouraged person. Each time things or situations seem to be discouraging you, encourage yourself. Tell your neighbor, encourage yourself. The Bible says, and David encouraged himself in the Lord, his God. Remember, David was a steward, chosen by God to lead the people of Israel in Jerusalem. So many things was against him. Battles was against him. But he encouraged himself in the Lord, his God. You have no other encouragement, you that are chosen by God. You have no other encouragement that to encourage yourself in the Lord, your God. If God becomes your trust, he becomes your refuge, he becomes your fortress, your strong tower, your stronghold, then you must encourage yourself by his words. Somebody shout, Lord, help me. I speak to you once again. Always see yourself as God's choosing vessel. Wherever you are, either you are in the public service, see yourself as God's choosing vessel. Wherever you are called to serve, see yourself as God's choosing vessel. What you see yourself to be determine the divine backing you experience from God. When you see yourself to be God's choosing vessel, you are experiencing divine backing. What is in your mind as a steward determines what you attract. As God's choosing steward, what is in your mind determines what you attract. Because your major service is in the spirit. And that is why your mind has to be only 
on God. See yourself as one that God, as a vessel that God has chosen for his service. To humanity, in the house of God, even in your family, wherever. Somebody shout hallelujah. Never you look down on yourself. Never you feel that you cannot achieve that anymore. No. Be encouraged. And see yourself as one that God has chosen. Remember the topic? Choosing to honor God. So, wherever you are, you were placed there by God to honor him. Always see yourself as God's chosen vessel to build his kingdom. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. See yourself as one that God has chosen to build his kingdom. The kingdom of God. Yes, you must learn to be a kingdom builder. That's one of the major purposes God chose you. See, remember that you are a soul winner. God chose you to honor him by winning souls. Proverbs 11 verse 30. The Bible says, He that winneth a soul is what? Wise. Every day you must share the word of God with somebody. Talk to someone on how to turn that person to God. Don't leave, the, don't leave people to themselves. Try your best. Leave the rest to the Holy Spirit. You were choosing to honor God. By doing that, you are honoring God. You are not doing that for yourself. You are doing it for the kingdom of God. Because you are part of the kingdom builder as a kingdom steward. Are you working in the house of God? You are not working in the house of God just to show forth. You are not occupying position in the house of God just to show forth. You must learn to be a kingdom builder. To be a soul winner. He that winneth a soul, the Bible says what? Proverbs 11 verse 30. Talk to somebody every day about Jesus Christ. Don't think about your problem always. Problem, problem, problem. When you give yourself only to problems, all your prayer is your problems only. Your children's problems. Your family problem. Not concerned about God. You can't get solution. You can't get solution. When you are concerned about the service, God choose you as a steward here on earth to render. For the purpose of the kingdom, God will be concerned about your own. Jesus says, he that is ashamed to talk about me to the world, I will also be ashamed to talk about him to my father who is in heaven. So this is the great commission. The assignment he has given to us. And we must be faithful in this service. Whatever you are, as God chooses to us, see yourself as Christ's ambassador. Or you call it kingdom ambassador. Whatever you are, I am a kingdom ambassador. See yourself as a kingdom what? Are you hearing me? Either you are in your shop, you are in your office, you are in the trail, you are in your car, you are in your wherever, you are in your farm, whatever you are in the market, you are in the government house. See yourself as kingdom ambassador. The mentality of God's choosing steward is always different from the normal person. The Bible says, if any man is a Christ, is a new creature, all things has passed away. All things becomes what? So don't reason the way the ordinary person reason. Wherever you are. You might be sitting down with an ordinary person outside there. Don't reason the way he reasons. Your reason should be different because you are a kingdom ambassador. Somebody said, I am a kingdom ambassador. <laughs> Can you say to yourself, I am a kingdom ambassador? <laughs> Don't just say it. Let it be part of you. Let it be part of your mind. Wherever you are, you are inside a bus going, I am a kingdom ambassador. That should be your thought. Wherever you are, you are driving, I am a kingdom ambassador. When you are a kingdom ambassador, you become gospel defender. You defend the gospel. 
like i said earlier you defend the gospel by your character you defend the gospel by drawing persons people to god you defend the gospel by sharing tract you defend the gospel by the kind of cancer you give to people turning many songs unto glory when you are a kingdom ambassador you don't have peace when you have not talked to someone about jesus christ when you are a kingdom ambassador you don't only ask god for miracle 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 no you are concerned about the lost souls when you are a kingdom ambassador in all your engagement you ensure someone is affected for god are you getting the message that is why a kingdom ambassador. every ambassador defend his country every ambassador you know the meaning of ambassador the, for example nigeria have an ambassador in america in different countries of the world nigeria have ambassador if anything is happening to nigeria then they go to the ambassador ambassador is there to handle the matter up and at the end ambassadors, ambassadors are there to defend nigerians over there to ensure nigerians are safe now you are there to make sure those that satan has captivated are released for the kingdom of god kingdom ambassador when you have this mindset you will experience more of god's blessing when you have this mindset god will begin to see you in his eye of mercy when you have this mindset god will take care of your family issues when you have this mindset god will give you long life when you have this mindset your dream life will change because you are not concerned about the kingdom of god not only about yours somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout i am a kingdom ambassador second corinthians chapter 5 verse 20 second corinthians 5 20 says now then we are ambassadors for christ now then we are ambassadors for christ second corinthians 5 verse 20 now then we are ambassadors for christ so whatever you are defend the gospel of jesus christ because you are a christ what ambassador somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah cherish the position you presently occupy in the house of god the next point cherish the position you presently occupy in what in the house of god remember the topic choosing to honor god as kingdom ambassador cherish the position you presently occupy in the house of god cherish it value it treasure it serve in that position with the fear of god it is not man that rewards you it's god cherish it because god okay let's go hello grace be unto you all in the mighty name of jesus christ i want to bless you all and thank you so much for waiting for this time and we are sorry for coming late for we are doing some the engineers are doing some setup in the studio we are trying to upgrade our studio in different areas god bless you so we are just managing the equipment to broadcast today we go to do better god bless you god bless you hallelujah you are blessed in the mighty name of jesus christ i want to specially bless all the partners wherever you are and i thank god for you yes making yourself available for god's assignment here on earth partnering with us to take the gospel to the uttermost part of the earth the lord bless you faithful is he that has promised who also will do it do what as those that support the gospel to the uttermost part of the earth the lord bless you wherever you are in the mighty name of jesus christ once again i am prophet pia obaseki i'm glad blessing you here today and whatever medium you are with us and this is our partners meeting feel free now you can join us on zoom you can join us on Facebook, PIO Basaki Ministries. You can join us 
on Instagram, more grace underscore TV. You can join us on our online radio. The link be on the Facebook page. You can connect the link to our online radio and uh, you will also be part of this meeting, whatever you are on planet Earth. These are some of the upgrades that we are doing so that you can always join us on our online radio during our broadcasts and even after our broadcast, you can always play our online radio that does not consume so much data from you. We are finding a way to extend to you in a lesser way. God bless you. So that you don't begin to buy data, data, data. <laughs> thank you. The Lord bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you all. I thank you for being there. Yes, we have been in prayer for the partners all day long. And we are here to conclude this prayer with you. Are you a partner? God bless you. Prepare. This prayer is for you. And as I conclude this prayer with you, as a prophet of God, definitely God Almighty is going to reveal himself in that situation. God is going to confirm and God is going to answer. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We declare this meeting open right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you. The message of God speak for you in Jesus' name. I want to bless everyone of you for joining us online right now. God bless you all. Oh, my beloved, beautiful daughter. I love the way you pose. Dorothy, are you here? God bless you. Beatrice, Ajayi family, you are blessed. Sandra, Fadipe, you are blessed. Bright, Edobo, God bless you, my beloved son. Grace be unto you. Susanna, you are blessed. Mondioloye, what happened? Are you dozing? What is the challenge? God bless you. Uh, Fosa, God bless you. Bermudia, God bless you. Teresia, Wanjiro, you are welcome on board. Yebizube Vitri, grace be unto you. The Lord bless you. Idowu Wheels, God bless you. God bless you. I saw your missed calls. Blessing Element, God bless you. Yes, Osasu Helene, you are wonderful. P30 Light, you are blessed. Charles, Lo Charles Elizabeth, many of you would be, God bless all of you. Uh, many can I mention? Ah, Osanity from Germany, God bless you. Lovet Mba, God bless you. I love the way you relax. God is doing something new. God bless you. God bless you. You are blessed. Osanity, have you done your marriage? Okay, please, can you bring her out? Look at her. Yes, it's really cold. Osanity from Germany. Look at her up there. Bring her out. Let us hear from her before we go ahead. Yes. Your man, when is your wedding? When is your wedding, Osanity? Huh? I'm not hearing you. I am not hearing you. Hmm? Okay, your phone is not responding well. I want to invite everybody on Zoom to attend your wedding before. God bless you. Your phone is showing picture. Your phone is muted. You muted your phone. Okay, God bless you. Okay, let's test another person now to see if it talks. Brother Bright, Edo Ball, how are you? Okay, bring him up. God bless you. Grace be unto you. Okay, unmute your phone. God bless you. Oh, your phone is, okay. Hello. It's not for their side, it's for your side. Why is he not talking? Okay, God bless you. Like I told you, the engineers are still setting up our equipment. We are upgrading. I think something is wrong somewhere. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Okay. I think the challenge is from the is from the studio here. Yes, people of God, you are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, is because we have already scheduled a meeting. We have to manage the equipment to have the meeting. The engineers have been working this morning for the upgrade. God bless you all in Jesus Christ's name. We want
want to have it better and better and better so that you can be following us on our online radio wherever you are your place of work so many people are at work they cannot follow us so you can follow us on our online radio on victory time you can follow us on different different platforms so many platforms you can follow us now that is the upgrade they are working out god bless you okay brother edubal god bless you grace be unto you more, uh -huh. more, more grace sir. Uh, how did you do it i'm fine sir <laughs> Grace be unto you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. I need remote, please. The Lord bless you. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. What do you want God to do for you? <laughs> I want God to give me breakthrough in my documents. Breakthrough in your documents? Yes, okay. sir. God bless you. Everyone yes, sir. on this, all partners, in this Zoom meeting, let's stretch our hand towards our brother. Let's pray for him. Amen. For God Almighty to intervene over his document issue. Remember, when you pray for him, you are praying for yourself. This is love, yes, the sir. love of God. Please stretch forth your hand as you pray for him right now. Let's pray for him. The Lord bless you. Pray for him. For God Almighty to release his document for him. Thank Amen. you, Father, because you are God. Lord, yes, give him testimony. Give him Amen. testimony. Give him Amen. testimony over this document challenge. Let it Amen. work from now. Let Amen. there be divine approval over his document. Everyone Amen. pray for him, Father. I pray for them as well. Also release their answer. Those that need documents, Amen. every area they need you, respond to them. As long as they Amen. are partners, they maintain the covenant of partnership, give them reason to testify of your goodness. Amen. In Jesus Amen. Christ's name, we pray. Amen. 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 God Amen. bless you. Just believe. Yes, I'm okay, sir. Every one of you for your love. God bless all of you. Thank you, in sir. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Yes. We had this meeting sometimes back where we pray for all partners together in love. And so many persons got testimonies. Just because we have not had time to listen to those testimonies, very soon we do that. God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay. Hallelujah. Once again, I welcome every one of you. Let's open our Bible to the book of First John. I just take only one verse I'm taking from there. First John chapter 4, verse 13. First John chapter 4, verse 13. Okay, let me take it from verse 4. First John 4, verse 4. First John 4, verse 4. 1 John 4, verse 4. 1 John 4, verse 4. 1 John 4, verse 4. Uh, I'll, I'll, is there anyone with Bible there you can read for us? Who can read for us there? 1 John 4, verse 4. I need someone to read for us, one of our partners. The Lord bless you. Okay, Ibizube, Christian, help us out. 1 John 4, verse 4. Read for us. God bless you. More grace, Daddy. More grace. God bless you from glory to glory. Amen. First John 4, verse 4. I read. Mm. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That's okay. God bless you. People of God, have you heard that? As covenant children of God, I'm talking to partners now. Remember, the Bible is always specific and direct. The word of God is always specific and direct. And here the Bible says, ye are of God, little children. You get that? Ye are of God, little children and have overcome them and have overcome them when you are of god god is seeing you already as a victorious person no matter what is happening around you when you are a child of god a covenant child of god god does not see you as a defeated person god sees you as a winner why god cannot be defeated now when you go there he said Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. And have overcome them. 
overcome them. That means not one, not two. All the trials, temptation, you have overcome them even before they started. Ye are of God, little children, and you have overcome them. Now, wherever you are as a partner, say after me, I have overcome my situation. Say it again, I have overcome my situation. Say it again, I have overcome my predicament. Can you say it again? I have overcome my challenges. I have overcome my embarrassment. I have overcome my enemies. I have overcome my situation. Somebody shout hallelujah. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. So, God sees you as a victor. God sees you as a victor. So, no matter what you go through, never you see yourself as a defeated person. People may be using what you are going through to mock you. People may say different things about you. People may even run away from you. Yes, people may even run away from you because of what you are going through. Friends may run away from you. Yes. That doesn't mean you are defeated. See yourself the way God sees you. Always learn to see yourself the way God sees you. Please take it right. See yourself the way God sees you. You a covenant child of God, a partner. God is not seeing you as one that is conquered. God is not seeing you as one that life has conquered. God is not seeing you as one that marriage has conquered. God is not seeing you as one that poverty has conquered. God is not seeing you as one that sickness has conquered. God is not seeing you as one that failure has conquered. And so on and so on and so on. So don't count yourself among those that such have conquered. It's a big error when you begin to count yourself in that class. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. You have got a prayer point for this message right now as a partner. Whatever you thought have overcome you before now, you can now begin to stand on the premise of this scripture to begin to make prophetic declaration. I have overcome the mountain before me. I have overcome the challenges before me. I have overcome whatever that have risen against me. I am already an overcomer. Because he said, ye have overcome them. When you have your prayer base in the word of God, you will get godly result. I mean, when you stand on the word of God to make your prayer, to say your prayer, you are on the winning side. A child of God does not pray outside the word of God. In your prayer, your prayer, the foundation of your prayer must be the word of God. When the foundation of your prayer becomes the word of God, there is no way you will not get answer. Why? The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. So the earth responds to his master. The earth was created by the word, the word of God. So the earth has no option. Whatever that is on planet earth has no option. Even in the spiritual, they have no option. Why? Look at what the Bible says. Why do they have no option? The Bible says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That is why every other thing have no option that to obey. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. <laughs> that is why every situation are subject to the obedience of the word of God. Everyone, all partners say this after me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Can I hear you better? Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Can I hear you again? Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Can I hear you one more time? Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Can I hear you say it to yourself? Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That's true. When you know he that is in you, wherever you are, you will be confident. 
the revelational knowledge of the word of God is the strength of every covenant child of God. When you don't know the word of God, such person begins to dwell in darkness. And dwelling in the dark brings doubt. Dwelling in the dark side of life brings confusion. Dwelling in the dark part of life brings limitation. It brings fear. Fear of the uncertain. Fear of the unknown. Dwelling in the dark side of life makes the future blur before you. Dwelling in the dark side of life makes you believe that you can never have that thing. Listen, whatever doubt makes you believe you cannot have, God has already given it to you. He has already made it available to you. It's already yours. And that is why, as a covenant child of God, as a partner, you must know that the covenant you maintain in God have drawn God more closer to you. If you are actually a partner, then whenever your voice is heard, heaven pays attention. You are recognized. Your voice must be full of the spirit of faith. Your voice must not be supported by fear. You must not be afraid. You must learn to be confident. You must learn to speak to the mountain. Some of you are watching me and are telling me, the prophet doesn't know what I am going through. I am going through a situation that is so tight that I don't even know what to do. Yes, it's always like that. When God wants to raise you higher, you write exam. The exam that you begin to chew by, you won't know what to write. What do I mean by that? You will go through some trial that you will seem to be alone in that trial. Everybody will seem to abandon you. I used to say this thing. It is true. Everyone will seem to abandon you. You will seem to be alone. You that have children, it will seem you don't have children. It will seem you don't have husband. Or it will seem you don't have wife. It will seem you don't have friends. It will seem you don't have relations. You will seem to be alone. Yes. After the rain comes the sun. That doesn't mean you are defeated. Your faith is under test. That is where you should remind yourself of the word of God, what God has said about you. That is where you should begin to remind yourself of what God have said about you. Until you know what God has said about you, there is no way you come out of that situation. Those that don't know what God has said about them, situations swallow them. But those that know what God has said about them, they keep confessing it. Ye are of God, little children. He said, you are of God because you have overcome them. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Ye are of God, little children, because ye have overcome them. Ah, see my usher. He's with the husband in France. So this year, time France did before yesterday. Okay, that's good. <laughs> ah, we give thanks to God. God bless you. Uh, thank you. Yes, just like she now. She went to trial. When I was in Zambia, so as she was traveling out, she was going to meet the husband. She's one of our usher in Nigeria here. Was it not last week or something? Last two weeks. Go to meet her husband, and they deported her from, from Italy. And she called me. I said, don't worry, God will do it. And of a truth, look at her in France with the husband. Shall we give a clap profit to God? Yes, give a clap profit to God, everybody. God will do your own. She went through trials. Thank you, Jesus. She went Thank through you, Jesus. at Jesus. the edge of breakthrough. But the God of your Yobasaki turned this around. Look at her over there. It has turned to her for a testimony. <laughs> Wherever you are, always remember that you are of God, little children, because you have overcome them. The situation may be biting. The situation may be tough, rough. Don't just... Bring your head down. Lift your head up. God has said you have overcome the situation. Even before the situation rises up. Nobody prays for trial. Nobody prays for temptation. But they must come. They are the examination of the children of God. Your temptation is the exam you write. There is always a report card. Your report card is your testimony. I pray for all the partners, you will not be ashamed. 
you will not be ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you. Right now, I want everyone with me online, everyone with me on Zoom right now, I'd like you to open your mouth to pray for all the partners. Don't pray for yourself. You are going to pray for your fellow partners. We are having many of you on Zoom right now, many on Facebook, many on YouTube, many on different handles who are in the meeting. Even those partners who are not, maybe some of your place of work right now, who are not opportune to be in this meeting, we are going to pray for them. Whatever they are going through, you are going to pray that God Almighty will open their eye of faith to bring them out of that mess. Say after me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I commit every partner into the hand of God. Whatever they are going through right now, oh Lord, give them victory. Give them victory. Open your mouth and pray for them. That whatever any partner is going through, let God give them victory. Don't pray for yourself. Pray for all the partners. Whatever our partners are going through right now, whatever trials, whatever temptation they are going through, whatever area of their life they are going through that trial, put them unto God. Let God give them victory. Let God give them victory. Let God give them victory. Father, give them victory over that trials. Give them victory over that temptation. Give them victory over that temptation. Give them victory over that trial. Whatever they go through, whatever they go through. Lord, give them victory. All our partners, whatever they are, Wherever they are, all our partners, Lord, whatever they go through, give them divine victory, Lord. Give them victory. Victory over their trials. Victory over their temptation. Victory over their tribulation. Victory over their challenges. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, because you are the God of victory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, Ye are of God, little children, because ye have overcome them. It is only partners whose eyes of faith are open. They are the one that can see the victory, even in the midst of their trial. Ye are of God, little children, because ye have overcome them. I say it again. It is only partners whose eyes of faith are open. They are the only one that can see victory. In the midst of their trials. You are going to pray for other partners right now. Pray for our partners. You are going to say, Oh Lord our God, open the eyes of the faith of our partners and bring them out of every mess. Open their eyes of faith. Open their eyes of faith to see victory in the midst of their trials. Oh Lord our God, open the eyes of faith of our partners to see victory in the midst of their trials. Open your mouth and pray for them. Open their eyes of faith to see victory in the midst of their trials. Pray for all our partners. Let God open their eyes of faith. Let God open their eyes of faith to see victory in the midst of their trials. To see victory in the midst of their trials. Open the eyes of our partners' faith, wherever they are, to see victory in the midst of their trials. To see victory in the midst of their trials, Lord, open their eyes of faith. Lord, open their eyes of faith. Lord, open their eyes of faith. Lord, open their eyes of faith to see victory in the midst of trial. To see victory in the midst of trials. To see victory in the midst of trial. To see victory in the midst of trial. Open their eyes of faith, Lord. Open their eyes of faith. Begin to pray wherever you are. Begin to pray for all the partners. Let God open the eyes of our partners' faith to see their victory even in the midst of their trial. They should not see their trial anymore. They should begin to see their victory in the midst of trials. They should begin to see their victory in the midst of trials. Pray for them wherever they are. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open their eyes of faith, Lord. Open their eyes of faith, Lord. Open the eyes of our partner's feet to see victory in the midst of their trials. To see victory in the midst of their trials. To see victory in the midst of their trials. To see victory in the midst of their trials. To see victory in the midst of their trials. Open their eyes of faith. Lord Jesus Christ, open their eyes of faith. To see victory in the midst of their trials. To see victory in the midst of their trials. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Yes. And the Bible says, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You are going to pray. Oh Lord our God, help our partners 
to know your power that is in them. Yes, you need to know what God has put in you. You cannot partner with this grace and be empty spiritually. Every partner in this ministry, you have spiritual grace. You need to realize this. Everyone pray this prayer for our partners. Oh Lord our God, help our partners to know what you have put in them spiritually. Open your mouth and pray right now. Help our partners to know the grace of God that you have put in them, the power of God that is in them. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Pray, O oh Lord our God, help all our partners to know what you have put in them for victory, what you have put in them to overcome, what you have put in them to conquer, what you have put in them for their testimony. Help our partners to know. O oh Lord our God, help our partners to realize it. Help them to discover this. Help them to know what you have put in them. Help them to know what you have put in them. O oh Lord our God, help our partners to know what you have put in them. O oh Lord our God, help our partners to know what you have put in them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, help them to know what you have put in them. Help them to know what you have put in them. Help them to know what you have put in them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord our God, help our partners to know the grace you have put in them. The power you have put in them. The anointing you have put in them. Open their eye to this. Lord, open their eyes to this. Open their eyes to this. Open their eyes to this. Open their eyes of faith. Open their eyes to this. Thank you Lord Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Remember, God is able to carry you through. My God is able, is able. I know he's able. I know my God is able to carry you through. My God is able, is able. I know he's able. I know my God is able to carry you through. For he has healed the broken hearted, set the captives free, healed the sick, raised the dead, and walk upon the sea. My God is able, is able. I know he is able. I know my God is able to carry you through. I bless you all wherever you are, partners, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever situation you have been going through, today, may your eyes of faith be open to see the God that is bigger than your situation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit just give me a prayer point right now. Please, let all partners pray this prayer for our fellow partners. You are going to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, let help locate all partners. In the name of Jesus Christ, let help, let help her, help her begin to locate all our partners. Open your mouth and pray. Pray for our fellow partners. Let help her begin to locate them. Let help her begin to locate the help. Every area partners need help. Let help begin to come. Let help begin to come. Begin to help them. Every area, all the partners need help. Right? Let help begin to come. Let help. Let help. 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 Pray for all partners that help her begin to locate them right now. Let help her begin to locate partners. Let help begin to come. Let help begin to come. For partners. Let help begin to come. Help. Divine help. Help. Let God begin to connect people that will help our partners. Whichever country they are, wherever they are, let God begin to connect helpers. Begin to connect helpers to our partners. Connect helpers to our partners. Connect helpers to our partners. Helpers to our partners. Let her begin to come. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ma Kori Kabale. Ira Tamashaluba. Let her begin to come for our partners. Every area our partners need help. Lord, let her begin to locate them. Let her begin to locate them. Let her begin to locate them. Let there be divine help for our partners. Let there be divine help for our partners. Let there be divine help for our partners. Divine help for our partners. Divine help for our partners. Divine favor. Let there be divine favor for all our partners all over the world. Divine favor for all our partners. Divine favor for all our partners. Divine favor for all our partners. Divine favor for all our partners all over the world. Let there be divine help. Divine favor for all our partners. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. E karademo shatal basira. Ali Kaparado, Ele Kaparasa Toria, Marikaba, Ora Tabu Shali Mahaka Borasi, 
Eke pora sato mashali. Izata mashatoria. Mikora. All partners all over the world begin to receive divine help. 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 That area where you are looking stranded. That area where you are looking confused. That area you cannot help yourself. May divine help begin to connect you from now. Divine help us begin to connect you from now. Divine help us begin to connect all our partners. Divine help us begin to connect all our partners. Divine help us. Divine help us. Divine help us. Divine help us. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. I pray for all our partners all over the world. Those who are present online, those who might not be online right now, wherever you are as a partner, God will begin to send you divine helper. May God begin to send you divine helper. Begin to receive divine helper. Divine helper. In that your situation, your helper will locate you. Your helper will locate you. Partners, helper will locate you. Over your document, helpers will locate you. Over your job, helper will locate you. In your breakthrough, helpers will locate you. In the work of your hand, helpers will locate you. Every area you need help, may God begin to send you helper from now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. The Lord bless you. Grace be unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you all. Oh, Jennifer, how are you? You are set for the mission. Grace be unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Vivian Otaso, how are you? Grace be unto you. Now, quickly, I want to respond to some of you. One, two, three. We are going to take three testimonies before we move right now to the next session. Yes, I, um, I see so many partners in my revelation telling me, Prophet, I want to understand my dreams. That is the question I gave my revelation for partners. I see many of you coming to me in my revelation, sharing your dreams with me, asking me for the meaning. That is the most common revelation I'm getting now. Yes, when you understand your dreams, then your victory is sure. But before we go right now, let's take three testimonies from our, just three. Time is on our side. Three testimonies from our partners. And we just listen to what God has done for you. Just three persons. You have a testimony, just wave your hand. I have a testimony. As a partner, I have a testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes. I have a testimony to share. Just wave your hand. Oh, that's this evangelist. Amaka is there. One, two, please. Just three. Just three only. Because of our time. God bless you. Grace be unto you. Milad NP. You are wonderful. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Okay, we have picked two. Remain one. Just three. To save our time. God bless you. God bless you. Yes. All partners take note that now that we are upgrading our studio, we are going to be having victory time every day, both on Zoom, on radio, on YouTube, on Instagram, on every handle. Every day is going to be from now. I thought you would give a clap profit to God. That is the upgrade we are doing here. We are doing the upgrade. So we can be having you on Zoom every day and other platforms. God bless you. Okay, let's go. Let's hear testimony. We have Amaka Mojeku, that's Evangelist Amaka Mojeku. Let's listen to her wonderful testimony for the glory of God. She is looking beautiful. You can't be as a divine grace and not be beautiful. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Yes, more grace. More grace, for, everyone. Where is, where is the matter? I'm Hello. Hello. Hello, I'm hearing you now. God bless you. Yes. Yes, bless you, man of God. I want to thank God for what God has been has been using you to do in my life and in my family, because uh, because most times I don't understand what is happening to me. At least, at least, in fact, I hear different signs, different noises in my house here, and sometimes once I just march, march my foot on the ground in my compound here my foot will start scratching me immediately immediately boys boys will just appear appear in my legs then i will take the victory oil and now pray anoint myself the whole thing will just disappear 
So well, and then, well, and my body, she has something that's been moving in my body for like, in fact, for like nine years now. Mm. But after the prayer line that I attended on Sunday now, at least, at least I can feel better. I feel, that's, I feel better now. I thank God for what God has used you and, and the anointing materials so God be the to do in my life and life of my family. God bless you. Grace be unto you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank God for what God has started to do in your life. God will not start and leave you halfway. As Amen. You are seeing the hand of God of victory in your life and family. It will continue in Jesus' name. Your healing remains permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. I remember you traveled down last uh, this early this month to attend Solution Night. You were present or yes. true the Sunday or so and yes. went to the prayer line. God bless you. We thank God for what God has done for you. The Lord bless you Amen. in the mighty name of more testimony for you, more victory for you Amen. in Jesus Christ's Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you. God bless you. Angela, God bless you, my beloved daughter Marka. God bless you. You keep shining, keep raining. I keep manifesting. Yes, the Lord. Yes. How are you? More grace, Daddy. More grace. God bless you. I want to, I want to thank God. Uh, last week, Friday, I was given 10 years permit. Last week, Friday. Which country are you? Italy. You are given 10 years permit. Yeah, resident permit. Ah. That's wonderful. That means the prayer we pray here the other time before I travel, I said, I we pray for each partner one by one. One by one. You were in the meeting that day? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. That day we pray for all the partners one by one. Now the prayer is working now. All partners you can see, is working. Ten years permit. That thing is not easy to get like that, too. No. How did you get it? Tell me. <laughs> it was by, by the grace of God, though. I did not do anything, no. By the prayer and on everything. Uh -huh. People of God, we say, thank you, Jesus Christ. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for what God has done for you. And the God that has done this, he will do more for you. As you remain in your partnership, the angels of partners will continue to speak victory and testimony to your life in Jesus' name. God bless you. What advice have you to give to your viewers today? Uh, are you the one using the network? Your network? Okay. Oh, okay. Your network is waving. Okay, God bless you. Happy. God bless you. Mom, Daddy. More grace, God bless you. Yes, Abby. God of fear, your basic is great. God of wonders. Wonderful. Yeah, I want to testify the goodness of God in my life, in my entire household. That's right. This is my resident. This is my resident permit. I got it on the 9th of April. Your resident permit? Yes. What country are you? In Spain. Wonderful. They have given you a recipe for me. Yes, for yeah. ele 11 years. God of Iobaseki. God of great wonder. Ah, that is, I salute your great. Oh, partnership is full of testimony. A lot of it is there. It's full of testimony. Partnership here is full of it's testimony. This is God. Of testimony. The, uh, so a lot of the events in, in a uh, victory time, yes. midnight prayer. Yes. Uh, I got a lot of of uh, deliverance, midnight prayers. I say, God, it's like the, the prayer point you were just giving in midnight prayer. It was me that it, it was me. Like I just give, yeah, the battle at midnight. I, I have a lot of deliverance there. I say, may God Almighty. Increase your, your grace, Daddy. More anointing. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. I, mean, I, I, was, I was almost deported, but today my children, they have their nationality. I have my resident permit. I want to give God all the glory. I always say, I always say, the devil, the, the problem that took my mom to, to divine grace, 
that problem. I saw not that problem. <laughs> that is that is that is that is yeah. That is where the devil make the mistake for allowing my mother to step in divine grace. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> to God be the glory. We thank God for what God has done for you. And I also saw it already. Every time I am online, I always see you joining me online. Always. That is faith. The Lord bless you. Thank you. Grace be unto you. And uh, one thing I love about you is that your faith is not divided. You are not here, 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 here. Yes. I saw it. So many persons, their faith is divided. They are here, they are here, they are here, they are here, they are here. They are just everywhere. Follow here, follow here. Follow. No, no, no. You can't get God that way. No. It is well with you. God bless you. Congratulations. What advice have you to give to your viewers today? Ah, that you are already giving me this thing. We are, let's say, wherever where God is, I've seen that God is, is here. Don't put your leg here and there. Just be focused. Once you are focused, that God that you are focused will never leave you. Say, looking onto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, there is God here. We should just put our trust in Him. So, when you were going to this trial, you still kept on partnering. Yeah, but daddy, not, daddy, not like that, but I still, I still try my best. Daddy. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Daddy. All in Jesus name. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, people daddy. of God, grace is sufficient. Yes, the grace of God is sufficient. Everyone on this platform, there is none of you that will ever be ashamed. You will get it. You will get it. It will work out. If you keep your faith alive. And right now, I bless those that have shared testimony today. The Lord I have done this for you. All of you partners, that same God will continue with you more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the good hand of God rest upon you. Because you testify, you will not suffer at the hand of your enemies. Your victory will continue to manifest in Jesus Christ's name. God bless you. Yes, people of God, the greatness of God is seen in the life of those that maintain their covenant with him. Yeah. The, a, a, a lady was going to try her in United Kingdom. I think she's with her here right now. I know God is working out her testimony. She called me, I think I was in Zambia. She explained to me, when I, after listening to her, tears dropped from her eyes for what she was going through. Her husband abandoned her and even children they are not responding to her the children she brought to united kingdom she brought all they are big they are, they are not responding to her tears drop from her eyes and she's she was having accommodation issue asked to leave the house after listening to her i prayed for her after i began to meditate over her tears drop from her eyes you know what before i know it i was thinking and i was praying as I was thinking, I was praying for her father, show forth yourself in her situation. That everyone around her might know that she serve a living God. Before you know I just get a WhatsApp message from her. She said the money she have in her account, she wants to use it to partner or so. I can't remember that. Yes, want to send it to partner. So, uh -uh. I say, how? Before I know it, I just got the receipt. On the same receipt to me. I say, ah, someone I am taking on how to work it out for her. I'm feeling, I'm putting myself in her shoe. She is still offering to God. Oh. That night, I presented her, her case to God because of that, her sacrifice more. Because I don't know, I was out of human being. Watch, every one of you. This I'm saying now, very soon you are going to hear her testimony. You are going to hear her testimony and it will help the faith of everyone. Like I said, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, people of God, so it is. It will definitely become testimony. Yes. Because when you are going through it, God said, ye have overcome them. God will never let you die in that situation. You are blessed in Jesus Christ's name. God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Don't be discouraged. Don't feel frustrated. 
grace is in the house. You are blessed. If you are not yet a partner, or you are a partner, you stop halfway. <laughs> Come on, ignite the fire right now. The contact number of the secretary is on the screen. Contact the secretary partnership on the screen. And ensure you renew your partnership, continue with your partnership. Because the covenant you maintain with God has a voice before God. I always say, don't be too familiar with my words. Take them as new to you always. Because it will help you. It will, it will put you in the prayers. Yeah, it will put you in the prayers. The Lord bless you in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you in Jesus' name. So wherever you are right now, the Lord God Almighty is present. Yes, you have a revelation, a dream you don't understand. Let's go. Let's see how many we can take right now. And the Lord will give you a new revelation on that dream, revelation, vision, and bring you to a new platform of his blessing. Please just wave your hand. Can you pick them up, please? Yes, God bless you. We, we are sorry, like I said earlier, we are upgrading our equipment. The equipment may not function as expected now, but grow apart from very soon. Upgrade is going on. God bless you. God bless you, please. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Please just pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. God bless you. Please, we are taking just one. I'll just take just. Don't narrate long dream. Just make it short. Just one, only one dream, please. So we can attend to more persons by the grace of God. God bless you. Now, thank you, Father, because you are a faithful God. It's a prayer answer. Ah, Joseph Precious, where's your wife? I'm sorry, Father. Give it to the children that their joy might be full. It's a prayer and sorry, Father. As we trust him, obey him, believe in his word. Whatever medium you are with us, I want to say to you, special blessings to you in the name of Jesus Christ. As a partner, the hand of God is upon you. Every prayer in this meeting is for you. And you will not be disappointed in Jesus Christ's name. The Lord bless you. Okay, let's go, please. Vivian, thank you. Vivian, mm. God bless you. Let's Carry go. More Carry more grace, sir. Carry more God bless you. My dream goes like this. I was in the dream. I don't know. I always see this man in my dream. He will come. He will take me to a place, a different, different place. He said that a woman came to summon me in this altar, different altar, that uh, very soon that I will be, I will be dead very soon. I just wake up. Okay. The man came to you in the dream and said to you, a woman came to summon you to an altar. That very yeah, soon, different. A woman summoned you to different, different altar. That very soon yes. you will be dead. Your enemy will be yes, dead. Sir. Good. Yes. When God opened your eye to the secret of your enemies, the problem is half solved. Your role now is to tell God what you want. First of all, your role is to give thanks to God for opening your eye to see the secret agenda of the enemy. That is why I always say to people, I said, as Christians, the enemies can do anything to make sure they close your chapter in their altar. The enemy can take you to different wicked altars to make sure they, they, they don't see your candle shine. But as Christians, when you are before the altar of God, learn always not to be selfish in sacrifice. I tell people always, because you don't know what your enemies are doing. If the enemies can go ahead to go and buy a cow, buy two cows to sacrifice because they want to finish that person, you as a Christian, what are you doing in the altar of God? People of God, you must have this mentality because some strength happening to some persons sometimes is as a result of their weak sacrifice. Like I always say, what sacrifice will do for you, prayer cannot do it. Yes, prayer has its own role to play. 
sacrifice has its voice before God. If prayer could take the place of sacrifice, God would not send Jesus Christ to come and die and share his blood on planet Earth. Two things there. If prayer could do or play the role of sacrifice, God would not send Jesus Christ to come to be sacrificed. <laughs> so what am I talking about, brethren? You must learn always. Everyone, the altar of God is your altar. Never you be selfish to the altar of God. Mm, because that is the altar that fights your battle. That is the altar that replies your enemy. It replies your enemy. Even when you are weak, that altar reply. When you can do nothing, that altar reply. Your sacrifice in that altar becomes your voice, becomes your weapon, the means of battle. That's your truth. Mm. That is why if you are a partner, don't give up because Satan will purposely discourage you to give up so that you don't make that sacrifice again. Then, once that stops, trouble starts. The Lord bless you. Now, listen. This, you have got it. Now, you need a prophet in this matter. You don't play with yes, this You don't play with this You need a prophet. I'm so scared. Eh? Yes, I'm so scared. Since yesterday, I'm, I'm not with myself. I'm even telling... I told my husband this afternoon that look at what I see, that I'm going to call you later. To, no, to, you, know, we'll you don't need to be scared. I, told, I mentioned it here just now. I said in my prayer for partners, what I am the, the sign I am saying, I'm seeing many of you coming to me in my revelation, telling me, Prophet, Daddy, look at my dream. I don't understand this dream. Look at my dream. I'm scared of this dream. I want to understand what do I do about this dream. That is why you are seeing me come and talk about dream here. Because I already see you in my revelation, many of you in my revelation. That's why I'm here. So you, you don't need to be scared. I'm going to give you instruction of what you will do. Don't worry yourself. And everything will be settled. Everything will turn. The dream is true, but okay. it will not work. Yes. Mm -hmm. Remember what the Bible says, First John four four. Say, ye are of God, little children, because mm -hmm. ye have what, ye have what, overcome them. First John chapter four verse four. Ye are of God, little children, because ye have overcome them. So don't worry yourself. I'm going to tell you what you will do. Everything we talk, you have on that dream again, victory. You say what? Said <laughs> okay, daddy. <laughs> that is why we are there. You don't. So as we are ending this meeting, give me a call. I will tell you what to do. You start it from this night, and between two days, you have on that dream again, and that day you see it will turn. The battle will turn. Mm. Thank you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. God bless you. Blessing element. How are you? Let's go. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Unmute your audio, please. How many bad maybe? Okay, I'm hearing you. God bless you. Okay. Daddy, I love the dream my father's house. I called and asked my daddy, say, which portion of me I want to carry from? I want to carry from, I want to do okra, okra from. My daddy called and asked, I said, at the back, I've been at the, the front. He said, my friend, wait. May look at first. From there, I'll your father? My late father. My father, late, uh, 2022. No. That's not true. That is backwardness. You don't need that. Always. Always the dream I see my father starts. Always. No. Blessed. You don't need that. You need to be disconnected. There, there is a power from your foundation that is using your face, using your spirit. You don't need that. And when they are using you this way, you will be experiencing disappointment where you are. Yes. Mm. Yes. You'll be facing the same. So, time, maybe ma, I go, ma, I go, I'll do just ma for June. I'll go put money for my maybe I'll go to marry. So, there, I'll see erosion near my father's house. No, let us pass. No, no, no. Wait. I will, uh, I'm going to pray for you now. You will be separated. This is the water of life. Position yes. yourself. This is the water of life. Yes, sir. 
I'm going to pray for you right now. That's you will be separated. The anointing will go to your foundation and separate you right now. Amen. Because this power can't trouble you anymore. Now you are receiving deliverance now. Say after me, son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. Watch receive the water of life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on. Amen. The mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now use your right hand. Do the sign of the cross on your forehead three times. Say, in the name of Jesus Christ, sign of the cross. Do it three times on your forehead. Shout, Jesus Christ, three times. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, come on. Come out of her! This foundational power. Out of her! foundational power manipulating your spirit I command you manifest yourself come out of her right now the mighty name of Jesus Christ come out of her my children of Jesus Christ On the screen. Oh, she's flushing. Prayer for one is a prayer for all. Come on. My name of Jesus Christ. I'm not only praying for this sister, I'm praying for all partners. Say after me, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. As a covenant partner. As a covenant partner. I separate my spirit. I separate my spirit. From every dark power of my father's house. For every dark power in my father's house. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank Amen. you. Thank you, Jesus. You are free. God bless that. Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Thank you. Uh, who again? Jennifer. Okay. Go ahead quickly. I'm hearing you. More grace, Papa. More grace, Papa. From glory to glory. Papa, God bless you. A I had a dream some days yes. ago. Yes. Someone took a bunch of keys from me, my house key. You said what? Someone took my house key, a bunch of key from me. No, male or man or woman. 
is a woman, and I know this girl very well. We uh, we came to Germany, at I think, uh, in the same week. That was uh, about uh, six, uh, seven years ago now. Seven, eight years ago. I took a bunch of key from you. Yes, the, the no, girl just bad. took a bunch of key from me, and inside that bunch of key, there, there is my my house key. My house key was inside. You are going to be very careful who you tell your secret to. Okay, Daddy. Be very careful who you discuss your secret to. Your secret. Okay, to Daddy. You. Okay, because Daddy. No, to collect key from you in the dream is a very bad one. You are going to get that key back. Amen. That key will Amen, come back Papa. to you as a partner. Now, Amen, Papa. stretch for your right. Uh, you are holding your phone in your hand. Daddy, I'm 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 working. Where are you? I keep I keep the phone now. I'm I'm at work. You are at work? Yes, Papa. Ah, I cannot pray for you at work. Oh. If no, no, no problem. Won't happen. I'm alone inside the office. Is is a is an office. Everyone is gone. I'm alone. How come you are alone? You there? Daddy, huh? for, for many years now, I've been looking for a job. I just found this job some weeks ago. I'm so happy. And that this job is a key job that, that I don't have any stress. Anytime I can come to the work. I'm looking for a job. Oh. No, Daddy, <laughs> you are not looking for a job. I will, I will do that as a daughter for you. Your key, say after me, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, I have overcome them. I have overcome them. My key that was taken from me. My key that was taken from me. I claim it back. I claim it back. As a covenant partner. As a covenant partner. I claim my key back. I claim my key back. As a covenant partner. As a covenant partner. I claim my key back. Come on. I claim my key back. As a covenant partner. As a covenant partner. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever that key Amen. is. I command that key to locate you back right now. Amen. Wherever that key Amen. is right now. I command the angel of God to fetch that key out. Back to you right Amen. now. Come on. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Angels of God, get the location of that key. Get the key back. Amen. Back to her. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be restored. Amen. Be Amen. restored. Amen. Be restored of that key. Amen. Now. Oh yeah. The hand you were holding the key. What it took is stretch the hand towards me. Towards the screen right now. Uh, restoration. By fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on. In the name of Jesus Christ, be restored from now. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. In your dream, Thank you, Jesus. They will bring this key back to you. Amen. Thank you. I receive Papa. Grace Amen, Papa. Oh, more grace, Daddy. You will testify about this. Thank you. Amen. Okay. Oh, Saratin, what is your dream? Give me your audio. Oh, thank you. More grace, Papa. More grace. God bless you. Thank you, Papa. We love you. 
Papa always see dead people in my dream or my mother, my sister, they will take a class, they will be pursuing me. And they give me something to swallow in my dream. As we were praying, I started vomiting. Uh, what are you vomiting? I don't know. Yesterday, all my arts, my arts will just be bombing me. I wanted to call you before. All my arts is yesterday. All my hearts will just be born in me. I see we are praying. This is why I started vomiting. Because I connect with that water. That water of life. That I spray for her. So you vomited that substance. All this plenty mm -hmm. things you vomited. Yeah, so Papa. Hmm. I'm still vomiting here. Hmm. The Bible says, Ye are of God, little children, because ye have overcome them. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Say after me, I am a covenant child of God. I am a covenant child of God. Every power after me to destroy me. Every power after me to destroy me. I summon them before the altar of God. I summon them before the altar of God. I summon them before the altar of my covenant. I summon them before the altar of my covenants. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Your right hand. Put the sign of the cross on your forehead three times. Mention in Jesus' name three times. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Put your right hand on your chest. Say it louder. I receive my deliverance from every evil attack. 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 Say it once more. I receive my deliverance from every evil attack. I receive my deliverance from every evil attack. You demon after my life. You demon after my life. Out. Out. You spirit of the dead after my life. You spirit of the dead after my life. Come out of my life. Come on. Out of my life. Out. Out. Come on. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is your freedom. This is your freedom now. This is your freedom. Be separated from this dark covenant. Be separated by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Be separated now. All that has come out of your body will never go back again. In Amen. Jesus Christ's name, you are free. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Great. Papa, I'm not doing my marriage, yo. You will soon do your marriage, no problem. It's next month. You know, you said you wanted to invest. There is next month on the level and twelve. Where are you doing it? In Germany. Where I was in Germany? Africa. I was also doing. Yes. I was also doing it in Germany. Yeah, next say. Call the address now. Where are we come? Essen, <laughs> I live in Essen. You are laughing. You didn't mention it. Okay. Me. I'm I'll send the address for you. Me. Now, I am not going. Zoom. Put your Zoom. <laughs> See your family members on Zoom. These partners, they are your okay. family members on Zoom. Me. I'm coming to Germany on the... On the... On 17. The 17. 18. 19. Three days I'll be in Germany. So, Me, I'll be in Hamburg. So, you said? I'll come to Hamburg. From Mason to Abog, almost uh, three hours. But I will come. To, I will be there. You need to be there. Oh. All of you need to be there. Yes, oh. I will come. I need to pray for all of you. Yes. Papa, what about the group that they, they said they want to create? They have not created it. Uh, they have created it now. I have not seen my name there. Oh. My number is on there. Uh -huh. They have yeah. not asked me. But what is disappointing me now is that many of you, they are leaving the group. Um, some of you are talking anyhow on the group. I've never seen people no, like some no, of you. No, 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 no. That you some of you God at all. Eh? They created a group for your own blessing. Some of them are just talking like small, small children. It's not, it's not a good thing. It is not that me, 
I'm looking for travel to travel. I am only coming to bless you. Yes, so we need you. If I want to be traveling to other country every month, the doors are open everywhere. So, grace be unto you. Anyone that is opportune Amen. to support the work of God, that person is saving his life, the children's future. Because every seed you sow for the work of God, you reap it. Mm. Things are very hard in abroad now. And this is the time you need more of God. Yes. Oh. This is the time every one of you need more of God. Because it is only the favor of God that can help every one of you. Yes, the favor of God. Mm. I know. God bless you. Okay. Amen. Thank you, Papa. More grace. God bless you. Your wedding will be tough. God bless Amen. You. Okay. Amen. Franka, you are laughing. You will so marry as well. Okay, Franka, let me hear you. Shortly, briefly. God bless you. More grace, sir. More grace. Okay, go ahead. Yes, sir. Um, I was in my dream and I dreamt that this woman in my area, she died. So as she died, people were crying and I asked them to bring the dead body and I started praying. As I was praying, then somebody shouted that, ah, the woman is a level. She has come back. She's a level. I said, really? I said, ah, I will test. I will give my testimony in church that I pray for somebody and it came back to life. That was how I woke up. I don't understand. It is well with you. Yes. Remember the scripture today, the exhortation, First John four four. It says, "Ye are of God, little children, for ye have overcome them." Because greater yeah. is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Now, you pray for the dead woman, the woman came back. God is telling you, your case is not hopeless. Mm. God is telling you that your case is not hopeless. So be careful what you think about yourself. Don't think frustration, don't think hopelessness. There is hope for you. Yeah. There is great hope for you. Where everyone thought it is finished with you, God will appear to do something new. So that dream is telling you your case is not hopeless. So don't use what you might be going through to conclude your destiny. No. And don't ever doubt what prayer can do. Don't ever stop praying. Don't doubt what prayer can do for you and for others. Don't stop praying. Your solution in life is your prayer to God. Yes. Your solution in life is your prayer to God. Don't doubt what prayer can do. Don't doubt what God can use, use you to do for others. But this dream is majorly focusing on you spiritually that your case is not hopeless. You know, yes, there are some times you don't feel like praying anymore. You think you have prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. You are tired. Yeah. You are not even seeing the result of your prayer. You seem answers cease not to be coming. And sometimes when you pray most, you begin to have some nightmare. You yes. Are getting, you are getting discouraged in your prayers. You yes. are feeling sometimes your mind begins to have doubt whether you should look for other means to help yourself. No, yes. don't do that. One with God is majority. Don't give up in prayers. Your solution okay, in life sir. is not in any other source. It's in God. Keep calling on yes, Him. Sir. He is the owner of your soul. He is the owner of your life. He knows what will do for you. God bless you. I pray that Amen. God will strengthen your faith. The Lord will give Amen. you the best. What Amen. prayer can do, God will do it for you. May you Amen. be strengthened in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Oh. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Okay, Dickness, Alice Omorigi, you are welcome on board. After then, Rosalind Arwegian. Glory be to God. More grace, Daddy. More grace, God bless you. Good evening, Daddy. Grace be More grace. Mm. Amen. Daddy, I dream that in my dream behind my head, there is two cupboards. You said? My side, there is... In my room, in my bedroom, 
Yes. There is where I put my necklace, my hand chain, everything. On my side, the right hand where I sleep. But in the dream, I see it in my husband's side. When I wake up, something just wake me up. He said, go and see your, your necklace and ring in the, in the top of the cupboard of my husband. I don't know what that means, sir. Mm. It is well with you. Amen. Your necklace, your neck chain, your ring, your this, your that. They yes. matters a lot. That is the glory of your life. That is the glory of your destiny. And what you need in this, you are going to pray against every spirit of manipulation. Yes. Okay. Every spirit of manipulation. Try to manipulate okay. your blessings, your glory in any way. Pray to terminate it. You terminate mm -hmm. every spirit of manipulation. Try to manipulate mm -hmm. your blessings, your glory. Pray against it. Okay. Your necklace, Amen. your Thank earring, you. anything you, like that you put in your body, gold, whatever, they matter a lot to your death. They, are, they represent the glory of your destiny. Now, you didn't see Amen. it where you kept it, to the other side. Pray against yes. spiritual manipulation over your glory. Mm -hmm. Spiritual manipulation over your blessing. Do that as your prayer okay, point. Sir. And God will give Thank you. Thank you, sir. I pray for you that your blessing destiny will not be manipulated. I pray the angels Amen. of God will partner with you now in your house to defend you, defend your glory Amen. in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Okay, Rosalind Arrigan, God bless you. Oh, glory be to God. Well, God bless you, Daddy. God bless you. God bless Daddy. Daddy, I have a dream. Always. Oh my God! How come your internet? I have a dream that see myself buying something in the supermarket. You say what? I always see myself in the dream buying something in the supermarket. In supermarket. Yes, what? sir. I hope you are not buying pepper. No, no. Sometimes bread. Sometimes the okra. Yesterday is okra. Yes. When you see yourself buy things in the supermarket, there is, yes. Uh, when you dream, see yourself buy things in the supermarket. Kiloria salia. This have different meaning. Let's know the exact one that this one means right now. When you are buying those things, are you the one carrying it in your tray, or someone is holding it for you? No, I when give this, the first thing money. Things. Then you give me the thing. The first time is bread. Okay, when you buy it, you take the thing yourself. Yes. You hold it yourself, yes. Or someone is holding it for yes. you. No, someone will hold it for me. Then I give the person the money. Mm -mm. I, I've not got your message. When you buy the thing in the supermarket, what you bought, are you the one holding the thing by yourself in the supermarket? Or there's somebody following no, you? No, no. So, somebody follow me. No, it's not good. If somebody follow you, when you buy that thing, that person is the one holding it, it's not good. No. Okay. It's not good. There is a power that is stealing your blessing. That's the meaning of that. Mm. Yes. Mm. There's a power that's stealing your blessing. If you were the one buying it and holding it you by yourself now, that one is good. But mm. buying it, you pay for it, and it in, give to the person to hold. No, it's not good. When such is happening, it causes limitation. Okay. When such is happening, it causes stagnation. Yes. Your, the, your blessing is being taken by another. You will labor. You labor for it, but another takes it. You will not labor for another person to inherit. Thank you, Father. So, yes. this needs to stop. It is Amen. Stop now. Amen. Now, in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Every power Amen. that is stealing your blessing, Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power stealing your blessings. I command these powers be separated from you right now. 
I command you, demon, still in the Come on, Oka! My children of Jesus Christ! <laughs> you still in her blessing to be separated from her right now. She's a covenant partner. Come on, Oka! In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus! 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 Be separated Jesus. from her. Be out of her life. Release her blessing and go. Jesus. The name Jesus. of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus. In Jesus, Jesus Christ's name. Jesus. Lord. Yes. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. From now, it is over. Jesus. Amen, sir. Thank Lord you, Daddy. Thank you, sir. You. From now, Amen. be close to Psalm 23. Eh? Use Psalm 23 in your prayers for 21 days. Okay, sir. Okay. God bless you. Okay. Elio Sasu, welcome on board. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. I love you. Elio Sasu, go ahead. I'm hearing you. Hello, sir. God bless, God bless you. sir. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, Daddy, I did my dream. A uh, uh, flag just entered my eyes here. So I was trying to remove it in that dream. But I, I, I could not remove it. I just wake up. It's not a good one. Since fly then, my eyes. Fly, my... fly is not a good thing in the dream. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Fly is not a good thing in the dream. Fly is evil messenger evil on assignment so now oh yeah, put your hand on that eye where the fly enter put your hand there right now okay. say after me in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ, name of jesus christ. every satanic deposit on me Every satanic deposit on me. Out. 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 Come on. Out in the name of Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name. The Lord bless you. Amen. It's over. God Amen. bless you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. God bless you. Grace be unto you in Jesus Christ's name. Yes, people of God. Oh my God. The engineers are giving me sign. <laughs> so <laughs> I want to pray for you right now, wherever you are. Partners, remember, the Bible says our anchor scripture today is 1 John 4:4. 4, 4. Ye are of God, little children, for ye have overcome them. The Lord bless you. You have overcome. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Partners, we are going to close now. I'm having some challenges. The equipment is having some challenges. The equipment is about to go off. It's giving sign. And let me pray for you quickly. Like I told you, they are still setting up the equipment. So the Lord God Almighty is up. And after now, we are going to be having this meeting every day here by the grace of God. We'll be every day on Zoom every day on all the arms, social media arms, pray for you by the grace of God Almighty. God bless you. I thank you for joining me today and I'm going to lay my hand on all of you right now on the screen and the Lord God Almighty will visit you in Jesus Christ's name. God bless you. Thank you, Father. Right now, I pray for all the partners in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, whichever country you are, I lay my hand on you right now. Be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever be your need, whatever be your challenges, whatever be your need, whatever be your challenges, begin to receive your solution right now. Receive your victory right now. Receive your testimony right now. Receive your answer right now. Receive your favor right now. Receive your open doors right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as I lay my hand on you, your tears are over. Your tears are over. Your tears are over. That document issue you are having, 
it shall turn to you for a testimony. My God shall give you testimony over that document issue. That issue about your job, my God shall give you testimony. Receive your blessings. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may the goodness of God abide with you, all partners. Any that is sick among you, I command healing upon you right now. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. I want to bless you. Um, the Lord God Almighty glorify himself in your life and situation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations to you. And watch out. You are going to have a divine encounter with Jesus Christ this night. Grace be unto you in Jesus Christ's name. I love you all. Bear with us. Our equipment will soon be on standard very soon so that we can always stay long. God bless you. Okay. Isaac, Dobe, Lusaka, Zambia. God bless you. You are there. God bless you for being there. God bless you, my son. God bless you. Cindy from Zambia. God bless you. God bless you. Tendaya, Zambia. God bless all of you. All partners from Zambia. God bless all of you in Jesus Christ's name. I love you. So many of you who are not yet partners, the phone number of the secretary is there. Contact the secretary. And it's going to be a good one for you. We are going to be meeting here daily for special meeting. And God Almighty going to begin a new thing in your life from now. God bless you. I love you all. Don't forget, we're having a program this Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Contact your people to join this program in More Grace Prayer City. The theme of the program is Walking in Dominion. It's going to be a mighty program. On Saturday, everyone shall be going to the Pool of Mercy. That Pool of Mercy is a place of power. No matter the situation, as you go through it, there's always a divine encounter. Great testimonies. Yes, tell your person to come with your names. Write your name on the paper. Uh, or you can come with your photograph to come and go to the pool of mercy. Yes, tell your persons to come and attend the program Friday and Saturday and Sunday. They can write your name on the paper, whichever country you are. Tell your persons in Nigeria. They write your name on the paper and or they come with your photograph. Let them come and go to the pool of mercy with your name. Something new will happen to you. Something new will happen to your family. Something new will happen about you. I tell you the truth. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you and thank you so much. For being one of our partners, many of you partner with Emmanuel of Anijum, God bless you. Many of you partner with Pierre Basaki Foundation, God bless you. Many of you partnering with More Grace TV, God bless you. I also want to bless all of you who are paying your tithe. May the Lord God Almighty bless and prosper you. You have had testimonies about tithing. God Almighty will bless you. As you tithe, things will never be tight with you. As you partner, you will never go down. The country you are shall favor you. The Lord bless you in Jesus Christ's name. 17, 18, 19. I will be in Germany for a three days wonderful program. God bless you all in Jesus Christ's name. See you tomorrow. Bye. So